What's up, everybody? Uh, it's been a little bit since I've done any of these, but uh, we're going to try and get back going on a whole bunch of them here pretty soon. Um, starting off with this first one uh, regarding our uh, foam inserts. Uh, I know a lot of guys out there in the no prep world um, are running air nowadays. So I wanted to go over a little bit of why I think that is and why we designed our uh, foam inserts. doesn't seem like it should be a complicated thing, but uh, I think it's important that, um, that we address why, why we did what we did as we kind of explain the tires, um, especially as guys get rolling with them and just um, so they understand how, how they were intended to work and how uh, I think you're going to be able to get the most performance out of them. So let's jump over here real quick. So right now, uh, the current tires will hopefully have samples in tomorrow. And one of the things that I wanted to show was that in most of the tires nowadays, when everybody's running their um, the, the wide rims, the current thing that you see is you end up with this air gap in here. So from a radial standpoint, you'll have, you know, where everybody checks their durometer or, or setting their air pressure on. Um, the You'll have radial, like, preload on your tire, you know, to hold the car up and, and keep the tire from basically running like a flat tire. But the problem is you don't have good lateral load. So this is where a lot of people like running air pressure, because when you have air pressure, you have that constant you know, PSI throughout the whole interior of the tire. I don't know why it's not supposed to look like that. Let me fix that because I don't like that. Ah, this stupid thing. All right, let me go back to that. All right, well, anyway, that's not supposed to work like that. That's why. Okay. So, anyway, so that's where you'll have the gap and where our new inserts are quite a bit wider than everybody else's. And that is so that this area of the sidewall is preloaded. Now, as I've shown you guys, our tires are really soft. Um, so I think it's very important to understand that the tires need both um, radial and lateral support. Now we could have done that with adding a bunch of ribs in the sidewalls. However, when you apply air pressure to it, then you're going to get a bunch of lumps in the sidewall. Um, it's going to be difficult, more difficult to get them um, like straight out of the tool with better balance. It's also going to make the, um, the tire heavier because the rubber is heavier than the foam. So in that respect, it's better to be able to go with a slight radial preload here with uh, an increase in... Um, lateral preload from the foam to, to help keep our tire more stable, especially up on top end. So we'll have a softer tire radially for launch, but a stiffer tire than most other brands laterally for high speed stability. So that was kind of the, that was kind of the idea behind um, what we were doing here with the foam inserts. So as you can see, most other tires have this gap, and well, ours will end up being compressed in here and full width, so you won't have any of that uh, lateral movement from the tire. So that, I think, is enough of that from the SolidWorks side. Oops, wrong one. That one. So as you can see, I've been working on some graphics and stuff, trying to make everything look a little, a little fancier. Um, also, that monster right there, um, we have the first one in North America. We've been printing a ton of fun stuff with it, so I'm going to have an unboxing video with that soon. Uh, I've been working on the whole time-lapse printing things that look really cool, so we're going to do that some more, too. But back to the, the item at hand. So to give you, an, you guys an idea, this is a reaction foam. That is one of our foams. <laughs> so, um, as you can see, yeah, they're they're a lot wider. 
um, slightly bigger in diameter also. And of course they, they fit on our wheels. Now from a, now from a firmness standpoint, um, they're pretty close. Our soft is pretty close to a reaction, actually probably a little bit firmer actually. But the thing you gotta understand is we had to go firmer because of the diameter difference. So when you go to a 2.6 ID versus a three, uh, you can see these will get stiff pretty fast just naturally because you run out a lot of foam really quick. So with ours being so tall, we had to naturally go with um, a harder foam. So our medium foam is even harder. But these were the, the some of the hardest that I could find in a um, in a open cell style foam, which again, um, we had the option to go closed cell, but I wanted to keep the tires as light as possible. So we went with these two. So this lighter color one is actually our medium. The charcoal looking one is our soft. Um, because our tires are so soft, and this is one of the things that uh, I'm, on the next video when I have the, uh, the pre-production samples, those shipped out and they should be here tomorrow. Um, I'm going to go through and mount up uh, all of them with soft, all of them with firm, or our medium rather. And then uh, one uh, so style with just air pressure. And then uh, I'll get some durometer readings and kind of make a chart of what everything is, where it stacks up at. Um, but with that being said, with the taller sidewall on these, um, I do really, really recommend the foam because of the fact of you're going to have a lot more lateral support. So when you have a tire and you put one on a rim and you start pushing them side to side, because of the taller sidewall, there is a little bit more movement. Now you can go up in air pressure um, to compensate for that. And that's actually what we did in some of the testing. Um, I didn't want to allude to this or talk about it before um, because I know other people are working on equal sidewall tires. Um, but with ours and as soft as our tires are, we actually went up as high as six PSI in testing just to see what it would do. So I know most people right now are, are probably around the pound and a half to two pound range from what I've heard. So um, that's, again, one of the things why I, I really recommend the foam and the fact that our foam is as wide as a tire. So we'll end up with a lot better lateral support, more top end stability. And uh, that's really why I think, I think the foam inserts are going to be important for our tires. Because not only that, you're going to be able to put those in, run, uh, you'll have a baseline, you'll have good sideline, uh, side bite and stability. And then if you really want to, then we have our airports where you'll just be able to thread in the Schrader valves and then you can tune with pressure as you would with a normal tire. Um, but like I said, I still think the foam will allow us to have the, the lateral preload and stiffness to have a better performing tire with a softer radial so you're going to have more traction so um that's it i really don't have a need to make this one super long um let's see a few of the guys are on uh, <laughs> what's up cody uh, the release date we are still shooting for march 7th um, the tire, the foam inserts are upstairs being packaged by my wife and kids right now. Um, the rubber has already started production. So they're actually literally because of time zone, they're pumping out tires right now. Um, so those are, those are in process and I have pictures of the rim mold. Um, as far as I know, it's pretty much done. I think they're just polishing the, the front face um, just to, to make it a little bit nicer looking. Um, but otherwise, those should be shot, checked. Um, they're just going to be checked overseas, um, and they're right away going to go into production form. So everything is looking pretty good. I don't think we will have our, like, the full batch all in one shot. But we are doing the air freight shipping, which I've already looked into. And <laughs> uh, right now, for the total batch that I have coming, air freight shipping is about six grand, six and a half grand in shipping, which I know everybody else is like 
screw that. We're not paying that shipping, but, uh, you know, I told you guys we're going to do it and we're going to do it. So, um, so yeah, I'm, I'm definitely not making as much money on these as, ever, as all the other tire manufacturers, but, uh, um, so the first batch will start air shipping. We'll probably split it into, you know, two shipments. Um, and I've already put in the PO and everything for the second batch. So, um, I'm hoping that like almost every week or every two weeks through March, you know, here on out for a little while, we're going to be getting in shipments and just continuing the flow of tires as fast as we can. So, um, I really wanted to make sure that we had the tires before, um, the race in Vegas and try and get them into everybody's hands. Um, yes, the tires belted. Um, so I believe I, depending on hockey, um, if my kid's team ends up qualifying for nationals, I don't think so, but if they do, I won't be in Vegas. If they don't, um, I will be in Vegas. Um, Dan Brun with the racer RC, I believe is his site. I think he's going to be on site and bringing the tires to be able to sell there at the event. Um, so we actually, what we're packaging right now is all his foam inserts. So he has a pretty giant size. Well, actually, I think he has uh, four. So he, he was a huge part of us getting this whole thing launched and off the ground. So big, big shout out and thanks to, to Dan from, uh, from Racer RC. Um, so he has, to give me an idea, he has four boxes of foam inserts alone headed his way. So um, he's, he's got a lot of stuff going. So like I said, he'll be able to support racers out on the West Coast and um, go to King of the Streets race. And that's pretty much it. So we're just going to keep chugging along. Um, hopefully everything keeps going well. Hopefully I can keep cleaning up my mess here and getting more stuff. So in, uh, in another few days, once I get a few more things cleaned up and some electrical stuff run and a bunch of orders out of the way, uh, I'll do a walk around video again. And you guys can check out the, the changes that have gone on for the last few months. Um, we have actually started working on upstairs to try and clean up a bunch of stuff. So eventually uh, the computers and everything are going to go upstairs. And there's probably going to be a whole bunch more printers even added down here. So um, we still have a, a lot, a lot of work to do that we're we're going to be thrashing on the next next few months, along with uh, just keeping tires going. But um, that's pretty much it. So, like I said, would highly recommend foams for our tires. Um, the medium foam in our super softs, for sure. Um, softs I think can go either way with either the soft or medium foam and i think in the mediums we'll end up with the soft foam so and tomorrow if the tires arrive if not tuesday i'll go through the um the durometer readings with the the different foams on the different compounds and that and just kind of outline why that is so if, if everything comes in as expected then then we'll have the the hardness range that we wanted and um we should be good to go so uh yeah under 15 minutes good so anybody have any questions if not i'm gonna get going because i have more work to do so no 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 all right all right thanks everybody for stopping in and uh they're coming soon a couple more weeks later <laughs>